Yes, hello there and very good morning from Orlando, Florida, USA. Florida is also known as the Sunshine State, which makes it to the perfect location to host America's biggest and most important photovoltaics conference, the Solar Power International 2012. More than 1,100 exhibitors from over 100 countries showed their innovations in Orlando. In addition to new products and projects, the atmosphere in the exhibition spaces were increasingly political. Especially Solar World caused a stir this summer. The campaign ProSun launched in Europe is an anti-dumping project that is directed against the government of China. Uh, this uh, trade case is about whether or not China has been complying with international law and its trade practices. It is illegal under international law to subsidize an export campaign that hurts a domestic industry of a foreign country. It's also illegal to be selling product below the cost of production for the purpose of injuring a foreign industry. So in effect, the question is whether what China has been doing is anti-competitive and against the law. Not only the presentations of the exhibitors, but also numerous conferences attracted visitors. Here the future of different markets and projects was discussed. The obligatory question and answer round was not neglected. Particularly well attended was the conference on the new markets in Latin America. Jose Renato Colaferro especially regards great chances for the Brazilian market. So basically, I think it's an optimistic point of view. I think Brazil is going to be a really big market. We just have to wait uh, and actively work for it to happen. Brazil is uh, the sixth uh, biggest world economy, so we get we got everything to be a big market as uh, other com emerging solar countries will be too. For the American market, the future is anything but certain. A crucial factor will probably be the US presidential election in November. In the case of change of political power, thousands of jobs in the renewable energy sector may be jeopardized. Finally, Mitt Romney, the Republican candidate, would increasingly rely again on conventional energy sources such as oil and gas. But one thing can be said with certainty. From the way the industry presents itself as the Solar Power International, it requires much more than a new president to change the optimism of the exhibitors. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all for Riri PV TV's coverage of Solar Power International 2012 in Orlando, Florida, USA. Thank you for watching and see you at the next big solar event. Ciao!